right? And even prior to that, there's a lot of conversation about where you would end up going. At what point did you kind of hear things or was it a surprise when your name got called at nine? Complete surprise, I think, to me to me and my agent. Um, they try to keep their cards like kind of close. They played it, played it kind of coy. Um, yeah, like literally until my agent called me that I was gonna get drafted, I had no idea I was going to Memphis. So once you started talking with the team and you heard what they thought of you and their expectations, what's kind of the roll card been for you or what are you thinking about with first year and what the coach wants from you? Uh, we haven't really had that meeting. Um, I'm just trying to work on being the best player I can for the next season, trying to help the team out as much as I can. So just trying to work on my game. Um, I know what I'm good at, kind of know what I do. So just try to make sure I can uh, have those strengths, be strengths in the NBA. And when it comes, because you talked about the strengths, when it comes to the weaknesses, like, are there any things you've noticed in the transition from the NCAA game? Because the rules are different, court space differently. How have you found navigating your way on the court here in the NBA level? Yeah, it's definitely a change. Uh, like you said, like the court, court's different, paint's bigger, uh, three in the keys or thing. Um, bodies are like, everybody's bigger, stronger, faster. Uh, but it's still basketball, you know what I mean? Like, it's still a game I've played. Um, still got to put the ball in the hoop. That's the, the, whole, goal of the <laughs> whole goal of the thing. Um, so it's, it's still basketball. Did you learn anything about Cam Spencer from, you know, being with the same agency and in preparation? Like, what what did you learn about him, if anything? It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, I mean that in a good way. Uh, he's just a crazy competitor. Probably one of the craziest competitors I've ever been around. What is it like to practice against him? I mean, you guys couldn't be any more opposite in terms of positioning and stuff, but I'm sure that's still a battle, you know, between the two of you. Yeah, just like. Just, just talking to him, getting to know him, um, practicing against him. Like I said, he just, he, he's super competitive in everything he does. How badly do you want to get out there? Badly, I mean, whenever you, whenever you're sitting on the on the sideline watching the team play, kind of, kind of sucks as a basketball player. But uh, you know, I have to play it smart. Um, that's kind of the big thing they're harping for me. I'm not, I'm not shut down, but um, just playing it smart, making sure I'm good uh, when I go, uh, and making sure I'm not, not doing anything to risk, risk my health. What is the concern right now? Is it an injury? Um, yeah, just just a little. They're just being careful with me. Um, I mean, well, judging by your performance in game one, you've shown what you need to show. But um, were you excited about going up against a guy like Walker Kessler, who kind of built a name for himself and has got some good momentum going into his career? For sure. Um, I think just as a competitor, you always want to play against like like people who have, have been there. Like you want to play against the NBA players. You want to. You, you want to play against the highest level of competition you can, and you know, Walker is a great big in the league. You see him, the success he had. I think he had Rookie of the Year votes a few years ago. Um, played with USA last year, uh, so be able to go, go up against him and, and play and, and kind of like feel what that feels like on the court. It's, it's what you want. You mentioned USA. Did you get a chance to watch Team Canada versus USA? For sure, for sure. I watched it on the plane. Um, any any feelings about not being able to participate? Yeah. Um, I mean, I wanted to be there. Uh, I wanted, I wanted to be able to help the team there, but um, it was a decision that I made. It wasn't, it wasn't a decision that Memphis made. I, mean, I just think it, was, it would be the best thing for my my career, and just to get set up, get get established, get comfortable in Memphis, uh, my first year, and then uh, Canada is still in my future for sure. Like I want to be, I want to be on that team when I think next Olympics I'm gonna be 26. Like I want to be on that team. Uh, it's still fully in my future. I just felt like it was the right time for me to kind of focus on, uh, on my business. Decision to play or not play up to the medical staff, or is that just kind of your call based on how you're feeling? For what? For the decision to play or not play, is that up to you or the medical staff? It's just, like I said, they're just being careful.